So here's a story that we've done about 406 times over in the history of secular talk. Anti-LGBTQ lawmaker resigns over gay sex scandal. So this guy is a uh, Ohio State representative, uh, Wesley Goodman. And um, it's actually a lot worse than this because consensual sex, okay, fine, he's just a hypocrite. But he also allegedly assaulted an 18-year-old. Now, not only that, Tony Perkins, who's the head of one of these far-right, uh, like, American Family Association type things that they pretend like they're super moral values is what we're all about. Tony Perkins knew about this guy assaulting an 18-year-old, and he kept it on the hush-hush and told the guy, like, hey, man, look, we gotta get you help. But he didn't go public with it. He didn't say, this is bad, we're taking our support away. He's like, okay, sure. Molesting an 18-year-old, whatevs. But we'll work it out. Oh, God. So... Look, this is the phenomenon here. What what happens is you have, um, Dan Savage calls it, people who externalize an internal struggle. Typically, these people are raised in very religious households, and they're told homosexuality is wrong. and But they also happen to be gay. So when there's that conflict there of, you know, hey, the moral thing to do, the right thing to do, it's been indoctrinated in them that... The right thing to do is to be straight, and that's morality, is being straight and having a, a wife and, a, and two kids and a picket fence and a dog, and this is the way it's supposed to be, the nuclear family. When there's that conflict between how they really feel and what they're taught, it manifests itself in this kind of extreme hypocrisy, where they're the loudest in defense of a uh, nuclear family, one man, one woman. They're against gay rights vocally, but then they're just sucking cocks left and right. And I mean, Ted Haggard was doing crystal meth off a gay prostitute's ass when he was caught. This guy was caught having sex with a man in his office. It, he, they, they, they repress it as much as possible and then it bubbles out and over and they're like, oh, yeah, give me dicks. So look, my message to these people is the same time and time again. There's nothing wrong with being gay. Nothing. If he assaulted the guy, there's something wrong with that, and there should be punishment, of course. Um, but there's nothing wrong with being gay, and just accept it. And what you were taught when you were a kid is factually wrong. It's not true. Your parents were just wrong in thinking, oh, yeah, it's immoral, it's unethical, or whatever. They're just wrong. They're just wrong. Your parents, just because they're your parents doesn't mean they're right. They could have goofy ideas, goofy beliefs. So you've been living a lie, and now you're a hypocrite in front of the whole world. You know? Just... Come out and admit it. Hey, really? There's there's nothing wrong with this lifestyle. I'm for gay marriage. You know, I'm in favor of gay rights now. And just be a reasonable, rational, logical adult and don't double down and try to pretend like, you know, I need rehab because I had gay sex, I'm gay. No, you don't. And um, it's sad that anybody would think that.